Hey, what's up, Anfinex? TechFinex now from AndroidRoots.com with the Samsung Galaxy S3. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean ROM for your Galaxy S3. Now, this will work for any type of Galaxy S3, International, US Cellular, Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Canadian. Now, if you're in Canadian, make sure you do download and install the AT&T or the T-Mobile one for your Canadian phone. Don't worry, it won't break it. It's the exact same phone. It's just called Canadian or AT&T differently. So, you can just use the AT&T or the T-Mobile ROM for your Canadian phone. So that's pretty awesome for you as well. So today we're going to be showing you how to install it, how to install the Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean ROM. Now, if you don't know if you should install this ROM because the ROM may not be right for you, definitely check that ROM review. It should be somewhere at the top of the top of this video. So definitely click on that link and it'll get, bring you to the ROM review of the Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean ROM. Now, first of all, make sure you're you have a uh, Clockwork Recovery already installed on your Galaxy S3. If you don't have it installed, you can look right there on how to install Clockwork Recovery on Windows and on Mac for your Galaxy S3. Once you get that complete, we're gonna enter Clockwork. Mod after you, actually, after you got that complete, we're gonna transfer one file. You can download directly onto your phone, or you can download it to your computer and then transfer onto your phone. So I just want to show you that I actually have it on here. So mine's actually on external. So as you can see right there, let's give it a few seconds. You got Liquid Smooth, the actual RAM. Oh, let's go back. Okay, so you actually have the Liquid Smooth, the actual RAM, and then you have G apps for Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean. So you're obviously going to be downloading two files. I obviously have a link in the description below on where you can get these um, RAM files and the G apps as well. So just click on the link in the description below. Download it directly to your computer or download it directly onto your phone. So once you got the two zip files onto your phone, we're going to enter into Clock Remote Recovery Mode. So power off your phone. It's powered off, and this is a great RAM. How do you anyone get it? So, very stable as well, and it's running on the latest 4.1.2 Jelly Bean RAM. Okay, once it's shut off, uh, shut off. <laughs> We're gonna press the volume up, home center button, and power button. When you feel vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up and home center button. So all three. Vibration, let go of power. And you can let go now. It will boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And we're going to be doing a factory reset. So this will delete all your apps, all your settings, mail, uh, cont um, contacts, um, everything that you have synced up. So make sure you do back it up. So if you want to reboot your phone normally, just select the very first one. Selecting the power, uh, back up all your apps, and then come back to this point. So first thing we're doing is doing a factory reset. Select that. And select yes. Now, as you can see in the bottom, it's processing. So give it a few seconds and then we'll do effect reset. Now we're gonna go to wipe cache partition and select yes. Swiping. Now we're gonna go advanced and wipe down the cache. This will be a very quick one. Done. Okay, now we're gonna go to go back, install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Yours might be in your internal and it might be in a downloads folder if you done directly into your phone. Mine's on my external, so I'm gonna choose external SD card. And now I'm gonna choose the not the G apps but actual RAM. So as you can see my RAM is right there. So you just leave it right there. And I'm gonna choose that one and select yes to install. Now this installation process will take about five minutes, so please do be patient. I'll be back when this is done installing. And as you can see right there, the liquid is the little uh, you can see right there. So I'll be right back. Okay, the installation is complete. So now we're gonna go back, or we're gonna choose it from SD card. And my, as I as I told you other mine's on my external, so I'm gonna choose externals. Uh, if yours on internal, just choose the very first one. I'm gonna choose that, and now we're gonna choose the G app. So as you can see, liquid G apps. Select that. It's like power to uh, select it, and use volume up and down to navigate, and select yes. And now it's gonna install G apps. Uh, if you're wondering, G apps is it's basically it stands for Google Apps. So that will install your Google Play Store, Gmail, Google Talk, all the other Google applications. So as you can see, it's already done. Now we're gonna go back and select Reboot System. Now the very first one. Now it's gonna reboot your phone. It will take about five to ten minutes to finish rebooting because you just did a factory reset and you just installed the new custom ROM on your uh, Galaxy S3. So I'll let it boot up and then. Let's see the new boot animation. So as you can see right there, uh, very cool. You can see the new uh, Liquid Smooth uh, Jelly Bean boot animation right there. It's booting up. So I'll be back when this is done booting up. It'll take about 5-10 minutes. Be patient. 
I'll get to actually took about five minutes, a little maybe a little bit less. But as you can see now, I'm on the startup screen, so I'm gonna set this whole thing up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the startup screen now. As you, um, I'm on liquid, uh, liquid smooth jelly bean ram. So let's head into settings and show you I'm on 4.1.2. As you can see right there, 4.1.2 liquid jelly bean right there as well, liquid jelly bean version two. So that's your whole thing. That's how you install a liquid jelly bean on your Galaxy S3 on actually any Galaxy S3 in the world. Um, as always, don't forget to check out that RAM review right there. Um, so if you if so you want to make sure that this RAM is made for you, it probably will be. Turn on customization, very stable and very good to use as a daily driver as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Give me a big old thumbs up down below if you're on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. And if you need help on this or anything else, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or my email. All links will be in the description below, and all download links will be in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Yeah.